Hey bassoons, um, I'm hoping that you found uh, the link to your audition music here um, and I really hope that at home you have a printer so that you can print um, yourself a version so that you can uh, mark things on there. Um, if not, I understand, but if it's possible, um, I think you should really try to have um, a hard copy again just so you can mark things so you don't you know, forget and practice things incorrectly. Okay, so with my hard copy, I've gone ahead with my pencil and if you could please number all your measures. All right, I know they kind of did it for you at the beginning of lines two, three, and four, but go ahead and, and number the rest of them um, so that the last measure should be number 16 there um, so that if when I'm calling out measure numbers, talking about uh, rehearsing some of this, hopefully you can find it pretty quickly and uh, you won't get lost uh, with what we're talking about, okay? Um, something else you will want to mark with that pencil is notice your key signature. You only have one flat, it's B flat, so danger, no. You have E naturals. Okay, so I've gone ahead and actually in measure two and three, because we're gonna be focusing on line ones today, I've marked my natural sign by my E's there uh, that we find in measures two and three. Okay, just mark that. I would hate for you to accidentally practice with E flats. That'd be really bad if you played E flats with your audition. Okay, so use that L, little seven, put it in front of those E's. You can go um, ahead and do that with lines two, three, and four as well, but uh, today we're focusing on line one, okay? All right, so you can see on my slide next to the video, I've got kind of a breakdown of measures one through four um, for you that we'll go through. Um, so the top line is the original music. Line two, it's the rhythm only, which for line one isn't bad, but you'll notice. For lines two, three, and four, it gets a little bit more tricky. Don't panic, I will help you, okay? But uh, so just, just be careful, all right? But I'll help you out, don't worry, all right? And then line three there says notes only, and that's actually for measures three and four. Okay, um, because we'll, we'll work on one and two, but the little notes only is a breakdown of measure three and four. Okay, all right, so um, first things first, uh, let's make sure that when you're uh, practicing this, you must be using a metronome because again, especially as we're getting down towards the more uh, trickier rhythms, like with the 16th notes, I want you to be really, really precise um, with your rhythm. Okay, you can't just fly through this. I know line one looks kind of easy. You think you can go look pretty fast, but remember, uh, in the end, when you're playing this all at once and not stopping, you want line one to be the same tempo as line four. Okay, so my metronome is gonna be set at 60. Again, just kind of a nice uh, middle, not too slow, not too fast tempo that I think you'll actually, you'll even be able to play um, like line four at. Okay, so um, I'm at 60. All right, so let's check out the rhythm only there for line measures one through four. Uh, let's get ready to count and clap. Analyze it, check it out. Got it? All right. So here we go. Count and clap. Rhythm only. One and two and count it. Here we go. One, three, four. One, three. One, two, day, three, day, four, day, one, two. Okay. Not bad, but just please be careful on this. I've taught this this audition music before. I've listened to it a lot for auditions before. Do not jump over those long notes. Make sure you're counting them really carefully. In fact, we're gonna play it, and uh, I'm gonna try to use eighth note pulses to help with rhythm and make sure we're really counting through those long notes, okay? All right, so let's do what it says. It says play on F, rhythm only. Let's do it. All right, so rhythm only line on F like it says, with pulses. One and two and ready, here we go. <laughs> back look at the original okay and let's look at measures one and two and put notes and rhythms together okay all right so we're starting on flicked a okay so you got to make sure you kind of hear that high a in your head before you play make sure you got your face fast air embouchure set and don't forget to flick okay so it's a and then you all got to also flick that high c then it slurs down to f and remember what kind of e natural e and then f Okay, so have to make it pretty smooth there between those first two notes, the high A and the C, okay, and then should be fine on the F, E, F. Ooh, 
So almost like our long tone A. Okay, all right, so let's stay and finger those first two measures. One, two, don't forget to flick. A, C, F, then it's E natural. F, stop. Okay, all right, let's try it. Play, one and two. One and two and ready, here we go. <laughs> with pulses make sure you did that slur and E natural all right so now look back down to the third line where it says notes only and we'll start looking at measures three and four okay so it gives you just kind of every note that you find in measure three and four but in half notes so you can kind of do a slow walk through which in this case is pretty good because it is going up to a high D it might help your brain and your fingers kind of just to go slow here in the half notes for a minute so let's check it out starts on C no problem E what natural then half hold g make sure you put resonance down jumps up to flick to b flat and then high d remember you can flick that one as well it's going to be that very top thumb that fifth one if you have it then c back to b flat remember g sharp is like a flat use that far pinky down there and then you land back like you started the line on flicked a okay all right so let's walk through it in the half notes with our metronome so say in finger half notes ready here we go c e then your g flick b flat here it comes you can flick high d then c b flat then g sharp and then back to flicked a okay don't forget g sharp is the same thing as a flat all right let's try playing it the half note version one two notes only here we go okay so it just kind of gives you an overview of your notes and your fingers there okay so now we got to put it kind of back into notes and rhythms look back up to the original for measure three and let's just work on getting the notes and rhythms uh going for the first four notes so the c e g b flat okay let's stay and finger those four notes first four measure three stay and finger ready here we go c e g b flat e natural did you remember did you flick that top b flat try it again four notes and a go c e g b flat all right, let's try it if you're comfortable. Here we go, four notes only, four. One and two, four notes, here we go. Okay, make sure it's pretty smooth. Again, and go. Okay, if you're feeling pretty good about that, I'm gonna go on and we're just gonna add a note. Let's see if we can get up to that D. Okay, so adding the fifth note, one, two and adding here we go try it again ready to the d and go okay now let's add the next one the c ready go remember you got to re-articulate that one get the tongue back in after that slur again and go and finally let's add that b flat the last note of measure three ready set all of three all right if you feel comfortable with that let's go ahead and add in both of the notes from four the g sharp and then a ready so let's try three and four together now ready set here we go tricky one if you need to slow it down go back and just play three notes whatever you need to do to make that measure three as almost as perfect as it can be okay and then but so you can pause rewind if you want but i'm going to go ahead just so you can hear it i'm going to play through if you want to join me measures one through four 
okay, putting those two pieces together that we looked at today. All right, so here we go. Back at the beginning, measures one through four. One and two and three and Okay, I uh, hope that helped you out with line one. I'll be back later with uh, some more, okay? Bye, guys.